this is the real-time rows, and we're looking for um, the area of the trapezoid APQC. So it's this, it's basically the bottom half of this equilateral triangle. Now there's a bunch of ways that you could calculate that, right? You could divide this into two triangles and a square. You could um, calculate the area of the trapezoid itself. You could calculate the area of this big equilateral triangle, and then you could subtract the little one on top. What I'm going to show you how to do is calculate. What I'm going to show you how to do is find the height of an equilateral triangle. That's our main tool that you need for this problem, regardless of how you're going to solve it, because that will allow you to, to calculate any of those. Once you have that height, you can use any of those methods, and they'll all be quite easy. So let's start out with just the height of an equilateral triangle in general. So this is a 60, 60, 60 triangle to start out with. Once you drop your height down, that becomes a 30, 60, 90 triangle, which will have side ratios of 1, 2, and root 3. If we divide all of those by 2, maybe it would be a little bit more easy. You'll have um, 1, 1 half, and root 3 over 2. Those are the same ratios, but I just changed them a little bit, to maybe to make it a little easier for you to work with. I actually have both of those sets me memorized, 1, 2, root 3, and 1, 1 half, and root 3 over 2, depending on what situation I'm in. So uh, what you can do here is once you know the side length, so let's use the red numbers for a second. Once you have a side length, you can multiply that by root 3 over 2 to give you the height. Right, so that we're told that the side length of the big triangle is four. The little triangle, which we're so we're told that P is halfway between A and B. So the side length of the little triangle is two. So let's do area of I'm gonna do area of big minus area of small, which will equal one half um, base base big times height big uh, minus one half base small times height small. All right, so that is, let's see, the base of the big one is the, is just the side, it's equilateral triangle, so that's four. And the height of the big one, remember, is the side length, which is four times root three over two. So this is four times root three over two. That's the area of the big one. Now let's subtract the area of the small one. It'll be 1 half, 2 is the side length here, times 2 root 3 over 2. Nice that we have the root 3 over 2 in both terms. If you wrote it out longhand like this, you'll, you'll get the benefit of that, which is you can simplify this down to 8 root 3. Sorry, cancel out two of those 2s with the 4. And you'll end up with 4 root 3. minus root 3, which is equal to 3 root 3. You'll get the same answer regardless of how you calculated it, whether you do the triangles, the trapezoid, the equilateral triangle, and they all have that same measurement where you need to know the height of that equilateral triangle.